Okay, so I want to show you guys some things about this winch. Uh, some positives, some drawbacks, different things about it. Um, I'll start by saying, because it's hanging upside down here and it's convenient, I made this anchor bracket here. So the one that it came to me with, I bought this unit used. I don't know if it ever had a bigger one on or not, but the one it came to me with was a short little piece that was about this long and, and stuck just to the center bit there. Um, and the struggle with this winch, even now with this longer one, I need to make it a little bit longer, I think, is that it wants to turn. It wants to, to kind of pull itself to either side or the other and wind all the cable up on one side of the drum. And that just doesn't work out good because then it fills up that side of the drum and it gets bound and it's just really hard on the cable, really hard on everything. And it's really hard to get back out. So uh, making this longer certainly helped. It's not long enough to solve the problem, so I'll have to work on that. Um, but it's it's pretty straightforward and easy to use machine. We've got a little lever over here that, that you know, you turn it and it puts a pin into these holes to engage and disengage a clutch. There's a little handbrake over here, a little drum and pad kind of a thing. Um, I've never used it and I really don't understand what it's for, but I'm sure somebody knows. I mean, maybe if you're going to let something go, like down a hill or something, I don't know. I wouldn't want to use that brake for a whole lot. It's not real big in diameter. I think it's an aluminum drum. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I do find it handy to use the saw chain brake because it's geared down so much. It'll hold quite a bit. Um, the part of the struggle with this whole setup is that the cable doesn't stretch, which is super nice for pulling logs and that kind of a thing uh, straight up. However, the rope, if you're using a rope, does stretch. And so that is a bunch of stored energy, which gets kind of dangerous. I wouldn't be surprised if some folks are just completely against that. And I don't blame you. Um, it's, it's really not the best scenario, I don't think. Uh, you know, it's, it's just if something breaks, there's a lot of stored energy into a big rubber band and something lets go and whew, comes back at you. That being said, that's another disadvantage to this winch is you're standing right behind the cable and the drum. I mean, you can hold it out at an arm's length and hope for the best, but if something breaks, it's probably going to hit you. Um, there's some other options out there, some capstan winches and stuff. Uh, portable winch is a common one, uh, really well known, I think. Um, and they're a lot more money, I think, for the for the bigger size that they have. They're like 1700 bucks or something. And uh, this Lewis winch, brand new, is still 900 if you can find one. Right now, this thing is made in Canada, and they're really hard to find because Canada's all locked down um, and has been for a while. But I bought this one used, found it on Facebook, uh, ran down to get it real quick kind of a thing, and it's worked out good. So uh, if you have any questions about the thing, put them in the comments. Um, I have been doing pretty good about keeping up on the comments. Um, I'm not perfect, but I'll do my best to get to them. Um, I'd say it's definitely a worthy investment. You know, by the time you spend... Oh, that's another thing. I forgot. You spend 900 bucks on the winch, but you got to have a saw. So if you were to buy the setup I have brand new, you'd have $900 in the winch. Plus, what is it? I don't know. 362 is like 700 bucks, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe if you buy it without the bar and chain, it's a little bit less. Um, but anyhow, you know, now all of a sudden you've got 1600 bucks wrapped up in it. So I think the the bigger of those portable winches are rated for 5,000 pounds single line. Is that right? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe that's double line. Um, I think this is rated for 4,000 pounds single line, obviously 8,000 pounds if you double it up. If you want to triple it up, you know, the mechanical advantage climbs, but you lose speed. Um, and that's another great thing about this winch is it pulls up to 60 feet per minute. Um, so I assume that's when the drum is full of cable because that's when it's largest and would pull the most. And I assume that their 4,000 pound pulling number comes from one, a big saw, like a 660 or 661 or something, and an empty drum. So you're not going to get 4,000 pounds at 61 feet per minute, but on one end of the spectrum, you get 4,000 pounds. On the other end of the spectrum, you get 60 feet per minute. So whatever, all that being said, I think the other portable winch is like 45 or something, maybe feet for feet per minute. It's not Im impossible, but uh, excuse me. I'm not sure. Maybe I even said feet per second there a moment ago. I didn't mean that. Definitely meant feet per minute, but I think it's a handy tool. I have it, you know, I, I'm glad I have one. I'm glad I got one used somewhere. Um, I think I'll definitely keep it around and for me, that, that 362, I'd kind of outgrown it when I got the 500i, and so it was time to put it to use doing something else. You know, before this, it was just sitting on the shelf. So I think it's a useful tool. I'll definitely keep it around, and uh, hopefully it lasts good and long. It's definitely heavy. It's well made. It's cast aluminum with iron or steel gears, so I'm sure it'll last quite a, way, quite a long time. But, yep, let's get back to work here.
This is also a little sketchy when you got some rope stretch in there. Another trick is it comes with like 150 foot of cable. If you only put like 125 feet on there, there's not as much to wind up. And so you end up not getting it all bound up. The reality is, at least for me, I almost never use all 100 and whatever feet. Um, I don't think I've ever had it all the way out to the drum. This job gets really close. It gets down to the last couple turns, but you know, if you're not making 150 foot pulls all the time, 125 feet does you fine because you end up using the part that's close to the, you end up using it with the real, the drum full more than empty. I don't know. That's what I've had. That's been my experience. My goodness.